Hey guys, Jay Ford, CTF. Coach Craig, CTF also. Yep, pretty cool. We're from the same place. Uh, this is week four already. Shoulder mobility, the one you have all been waiting for. You guys know this about Coach Craig. Um, so we're going to execute this test. Uh, this one calls a lot on the scapular mobility and then the thoracic spine. So if you're deficient in any of those areas, we're definitely going to pick it up on the test. Um, we're going to see flexion, extension, internal rotation, external rotation, abduction, adduction, and we're going to see how that works together with his shoulders. So a lot of big words, but I'll kind of point it out as we go. Um, so Craig, for this test, what we need to do first is we're going to measure the distance of your palm, okay? So okay. go ahead, just put your palm flat out. And what you're gonna see here, guys, I just take it from the base of his palm with my nifty FMS dowel, and I get uh, right at 20 centimeters, okay? So 20 centimeters is gonna be the number I remember because it's gonna give me a standard for whether he's a one, two, three, or zero if we see any pain. So what's important about these tests is definitely there should be no pain through any of the tests. If there is, again, that's a question we wanna make sure we ask. So uh, with the shoulder mobility, what Craig's gonna do, we'll start with the right side uh, or just the right arm up. So I want you to put your palm, uh, thumb in your palm and then you're gonna wrap that thumb. Uh, wrap that hand, okay? Hook grip. So, hook grip. It's on, baby. It's on, okay? From here, what he's going to do is he's going to bring that elbow up, and he's going to try to just place that hand uh, on the middle of his upper thoracic spine, okay? Oh. So go ahead and try to do that, coach. <laughs> Outstanding. So you can see he's up there. We want to make sure he's not overextending like too crazy, okay? So he's got it in back, and I, I'm guessing this is the tight side. <laughs> this is the side we've got a little bit of a restriction. Now what I want you to do, the same thing, thumb in, wrap that hand, and then try to bring that arm back, okay? So what we're looking for here is ex, uh, his uh, extension and then obviously a little bit of internal rotation here. So uh, back, I want you to stand nice and tall, okay? From here, I'm gonna take a measurement, all right? And what we're gonna find, remember that we found him as a 20 initially. Now we're gonna check out and see what he is on this side. So he, he was a 20 and we always take the right. He is a 40 uh, centimeters apart from that other hand here. Okay, so uh, guys, that's definitely in one territory. So we found our first one, uh, but it is on the right side. So what we have to do now is let's check the left. Okay, so he's 40 on the right. And this and, is the tighter side. And wow, so there may not be an asymmetry, but we definitely have found uh, that nugget that we've got to start working on. So again, he's got it wrapped. We'll see it here. Oh my gosh, we've got a 47. Okay, <laughs> so. What we're doing with the measurement, you can relax, Coach. Did you have any pain going through the range of motion? Just tightness, Just no, tight. no pain. Okay, cool. So uh, we were expecting to see this. We give him one one on both sides. So here's the designation. Uh, if he is a one, if he is uh, going to be a three, it's less than hand width. Okay. So a lot of people, females especially, seem to look, be a little bit more hypermobile in the shoulders. Uh, they typically score some threes on this one. Um, two would be one and a half hand width. So on this side, I would still, the right side it was, he got a 40, okay? That's double. So he's still in one category. So one and a half hands would allow him to get that score, that, that cool score of yeah. two, right. okay? Um, so what we have right now is uncool, uncool. What's great about this is there is not an asymmetry, so there's a positive. We know that overall we've got to work on both sides, mm -hmm. and this place we're going to start first with Craig is definitely the shoulder mobility to this point in the screen. Mm -hmm. So uh, that's shoulder mobility. Uh, test number four. We're going to be back next week for test five, going after the active straight leg raise. <laughs> All right, guys. Stay tuned. See ya.